Predator Approachers, Toronto. I mean, this is kind of going to be like somewhat of a jumble video, but it's, it's, I'm going to start with Toronto. So, for the people that don't know, um, if you don't follow them on Instagram, they pretty much just like, listen, they got a strike, a community guideline for cyberbullying and harassment. And, um, they were like, you know, listen, we're going to move all our stuff over to Patreon. Now, I saw a comment where somebody was like, you know, listen, everyone just join over there, sign up for a dollar, and you can just sit there and watch all the catches. And it, I've been thinking about this for a while. So, YouTube is just, uh, now I know a lot of people are sitting there saying that YouTube is sitting there protecting pedophilers, and I'm just like, that's not entirely true. YouTube is protecting their own ass. There's a difference. Now, I know somebody in my last comment section was like, bro, Shane Dawson is this and he's not a pedophile. I was like, okay, you gotta watch old, um, you know, videos of him sitting there making out with teenage girls and, um, all the crap that he was sitting there doing. You sit there and tell me if this guy's not a damn pedophile. But my point is, and, and I only also say that because, you know, I know that YouTube isn't sitting there protecting pedophiles, but I'm still sitting there wondering what the hell is Shane Dawson doing on this platform. And also, Red Kiwis. But my point is that, yeah, they want to protect their own ass. They want to protect their own ass from lawsuits. Because when it really comes down to it, is that YouTube doesn't want to get shut down. Um, and I was sitting there thinking about a way, like a compromise. Just an idea. So way back when, when a DJ, a radio personnel would sit there and say something, a curse word or whatever. The radio stations got to a point where they're like, listen, we're not going to sit there and keep taking these fines. So you're going to sit there and take the hit. Every time you sit there and drop the F-bomb, you're going to take that hit. And I feel like that should be some of the same consequences. Because at the end of the day, you know, CC Unit... Predator Poachers, Alex, you know, all those groups that sit there and do these, um, you know, catching predators and stuff like that, they understand the consequences, okay? When they go out there on the streets and they do that, they understand that they, they can either get hurt, they can get arrested, or both. Um, so it should come no surprise that you do actually get a lot of them that do want them getting sued. OPP, Oklahoma Predator Prevention, was gone for about eight months um, because they had to sit there and deal with a lawsuit. Alex, I don't know what the situation with him, but the guy was sent there suing him. So it gets to a point where it's like, you know what, in reality, you know, YouTube should sit there and just pass the buck to the individual creators. I mean, hell, they're doing that with fucking Copa, so why don't you just do that? But instead, YouTube is just like, nope, we're just going to sit there and um, get rid of all these Predator channels because they're violating terms of service. Now, to be fair, they get somebody on camera. And that person says, you don't have a right to record me. You don't have a right to sit there and upload my videos or, or upload my image. They don't. Um, so my whole thing is like, you know what, listen, why don't you just sit there and move all of their content over to Patreon? Because that's what um, Matt D'Souza is going to wind up doing anyway from Toronto. He's going to move all of his content. I mean, he said that he was going to sit there and try to put some stuff up there that was going to be like heavily edited. But you know what, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how edited it is because... YouTube is, is going to find a way to just take that stuff down. Now, here's the problem with uploading it onto Patreon. Uploading onto Patreon is like uploading it onto YouTube. It is a private site. It's a private corporation. So... Patreon can sit there and look at that stuff and be like, you know what, listen, we don't want the lawsuit. Um, get all that shit off. 
They can do it. I've seen people's Patreons get shut down for various reasons. So, you know, I honestly think the best solution for them is to get their own individual websites. I mean, listen, Pasqua did it. Pasqua did it. And I don't think that, I think that the other groups should sit there and follow suit. Now, I was sitting there reading a comment and... You know, people were really upset about Toronto being shut down. It was like, yo, listen, Alex is, is, well, his own separate entity. But Toronto, you know, the guy is very professional. And, you know, for the most part, he always sits there and, like, kind of, you know, he doesn't really be, like, too aggressive and stuff like that. And yet, his shit gets shut down. You look at Pop Squad. And for people that are, like, vigilantes and stuff like that, um... Pop Squad, for most people, is considered the gold standard. And yet, his shit got shut down. Hell, he even actually blurred people's faces. And his um, channel still got shut down. So he got to a point where he was like, you know what, listen, I'm just going to create my own channel, my own website, and do it. Hell, Ryan LaForge still has his old channel. I think it's called um, Save Child Coalition. Um, you know, he has his own website, and he's still... To this day, this guy is still sitting there doing catches. What's actually kind of amazing to me is that people sit there and say that Justin Justin Payne is like the Batman of, um, you know, Canada as far as, you know, catching predators and shit like that. Well, you have not seen Ryan LaForge. So, um, he'll be more like Red Hood in that case. But, um... Yeah, I honestly tell you the truth. I don't know. I think that I can think the best solution is for them to get their own websites because moving over to Patreon isn't going to really do much, you know. Um, and yeah, sure, it's a dollar. You know, people can sit there and support it for a dollar. You know, I know some people in the other comment section were sitting there saying like, "Oh, well, you know, a lot of people don't really have a lot of money." I was like, "Bro, it's a dollar. It's a dollar, and they're doing something of." importance because let's be honest and I, I keep I, I cannot stress this enough nine times out of ten the cops don't do shit um what's unfortunately what's unfortunate about that is that there's probably going to be a lot of people that probably won't go over to patreon oh there's a lot of people that have not went over to um Pasqua, and it's the same thing with ryan laforge even though he has his own channel and i love all his catches youtube is fucking popular it's popular, it's, it's just, you know, it just makes more sense to sit there and watch all your stuff on YouTube. But it is what it is. And, you know, and I, I hate to sit there and say this, and I don't... How do I sit there and put this? I think right now is the best move. Because, here's the thing, no one wants YouTube to go away as a whole. Because, yeah, um... You know, YouTube, you put up a lot of different stuff. You put up exercise challenges and all the other different stuff. Like, people use it for a lot of different things other than exposing predators. And as much as I hate to sit there and say, I don't want YouTube to go as a whole because people are sitting there violating, you know, community guidelines to the point where it's like they're getting hit with lawsuits left and right. Now... Yes, I know there's other shit on YouTube that's bad. There's other stuff on there that's porn. Um, and I mean straight up butt-ass naked porn. Um, <laughs> I remember I was watching the half of this movie one day and I was like, um, there, <laughs> there's no censor on any of this stuff. This is... What they're doing now, by the way, and this is something that I feel like is going to wind up hurting another group of people. Um, they're changing it around and they're putting it under documentaries, you know. And I'm sitting there thinking, so what happens when people actually put up real documentaries? Now, I'm just saying that's not a documentary. But what happens when people that have been doing documentaries for a while and wind up getting their shit flagged because YouTube bots are just so used to just trying to go out to the predator channels that they are real that they are getting um you know other stuff that's not considered um catcher channels i don't know i think this is just and the sad thing is i think this is just a real temporary solution now for people that don't know um 
Alex does have another channel. I know some people would sniff this saying like, oh, that's old news and stuff like that. But you'd be surprised. A lot of people that don't know that um, Alex has another channel called Chat Goldstein. Um, you know, I remember watching one of the lives and one of the girls was like, you know, we just got to sit there and work. You know, we got to sit there and do some tweaks and kind of work some stuff around because YouTube is constantly changing their policies and rules. And I'm just like. They really are not changing that much of their policies and their rules. Their rules have been in effect for a while. Um, nothing's really changed. They consider what you're doing bullying and harassment or cyberbullying and harassment. And that's literally, from their point of view, that's how they look at it. And while I can sit there and say that they're wrong because at the end of the day, they're doing more good than they're doing harm. If somebody sits there and says... I don't want my image to be on, want, want to be uploaded on YouTube, and he put it on YouTube, then they're going to take it down. Because it violates TOS. It's just that simple. I don't like it, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, this, this whole thing just kind of sucks. Um, I, I feel like every day that I wake up, that I'm, I'm constantly checking like all the different um, Predator channels, and I'm just like, man, I wonder what's going to be next. Which which one is going to be next? I just finished watching, um, South, South Texas, and watching their video. Man, they had to sit there and cut so much shit out, like, they had to cut out curses, they had to cut out, like, damn near every word that they felt that YouTube could sit there and try to use to take down their video. And you know what the sad thing is? Even with all their work, YouTube can still probably just wind up taking down their fucking catch. Just because. Um, by the way, does anyone remember um, Predator Poachers Central Florida? With that guy with the uh, tattoos on his face? I can't remember what he used to sit there and call himself, but like, whatever happened to that channel? The sad thing is that you'll see channels like that. That will just die left and right. And then there's other channels that people have never heard of. Like have anyone ever heard of a channel called Waitlist? Check it out. It's great. But again. Um, there's a lot of other smaller channels. That. Um, that don't even get the attention. That it deserves. There's a group. Called. I think it's. Um, Predator Catchers. Min um, Minneapolis. Min bleh. Keep screwing that up. Minneapolis. My goodness, I cannot believe I got that wrong. Definitely check out his channel. Um, he's he's doing it up, and I think that he deserves way more views and way more subs. I will leave a link towards his channel um, in the description box below. With that being said, let me know what your thoughts are about Toronto. Um, do you think that moving it over to Patreon is a good idea? Or do you think that, you know, Patreon is going to wind up doing what YouTube is doing? And just sit there and say, yep, you got to go. And just shut your shit down. Because to be honest, they got a Instagram channel. And I'm just going to be like, well, how long is it going to be before their Instagram channel gets taken down? Um, hell, if they got a Twitter, I guess follow them on that. Because Twitter, I mean, granted, Twitter is like the Wild West, but... At least you can kind of keep in contact with them in case the other ones are just like, you know, fucking disappear their channels like fucking Thanos. And with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank everyone for watching. Let me know what you're doing in the comment section below. Be safe. Catch you in the next video.